Hi. I've made a big sled for the table saw and it's good for cutting big panels and doors and th things, things that are big and need to be square. So I'd like to do a quick video on making this sled. So let's get started. I'll start by cutting the main body of the sled to the right size and it's a piece of half inch Russian birch which I had a spare piece lying around in the shop that worked pretty well. The next and somewhat critical piece is a strip that'll fit in the slot in the table saw table. So I'll cut it roughly to the right size and then I'll plane it to get it to fit in the slot perfectly. So it needs to not wiggle but also slide smoothly. And I'll attach that to the main body of the sled. Then I can trim off piece of plywood making that cut edge perfectly parallel with the T-slot. Then I'll attach a stop to the back of the piece of plywood and this should be perpendicular to the slot in the table saw. So I'll put one screw in to attach it that's near the cut edge of the plywood. Then I have a big drafting triangle so I can get it as close to square as I possibly can. And I'll be very careful and keep all the sawdust off the triangle. Once I get it as close as I think I've got it to square, I'll clamp the other end of the stop and attach the stop with a screw from underneath. I'll put a clamp on the top of the stop to hold the workpiece in place as it's being cut. Now the, the stop and the table saw blade are theoretically square, but they may not be perfectly square. So the way to test this is to run a piece of stock through the blade on the sled, and it helps to get things out of the way of the sled so that you can push it all the way across the table saw. Then you take those two pieces and you put them on a flat surface and you flip one of the pieces around and your cut shouldn't have any gap in it. If it has any kind of gap in it, then you're not square because you're doubling the error by doing this. So I found I was off by just barely what I could see. I moved the stop probably less than a 64th of an inch at four feet away from the blade and that did the trick and it seemed pretty tight at that point. So if I, if I put this on the flattest thing I have, which I think is the joiner table, there's the original cut. And then if I flip half around, it should also be perfectly tight. And if it's perfectly tight, then by definition it's square. So that looks pretty good. I think I'm about perfect. I've been working on a door, which is why I made this big sled. So I ran one of the panels for that through the sled. And I found I needed a handle because it was hard to push the just the plywood and the stop. So I took a piece of maple firewood that I had. I was going to do two handles with this, but a big chunk came out of the piece that's closer to the tailstock. So I ended up just cutting that off and I just made one handle, which came out just fine. I'll attach the handle with a screw that'll go in from the underside of the sled. And I don't have any video of cutting the ends of the door before the doors left the shop. So this is a picture of what that looked like. Hopefully at some point in the future, I'll have a video about making these doors. Until then, thanks for watching.